Hello, grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lesson. Uh, today we have number six. We are going to find angles in a triangle instead of sides. So it's a little bit of a flip, but we're using almost the same button on a calculator. Um, let's get into it, do some examples. I think that's the best way to do this, but just know that we are looking for angles in these next couple of lessons. Okay, let's draw our triangle with our right angle. Uh, we have our sides 6, 18, and then our angle of interest question mark on your paper. I'm going to write theta just so we get used to doing both because they do mean the same thing. And we're going to be using tan, but let's go through the steps. From our angle of interest, we can label our sides. 6 is the opposite side, and 18 is the adjacent side, right? Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, so that one would be down here. So opposite and adjacent, at this point we may know that it is tan, and opposite over adjacent, right? Toa, so tan of theta is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. So the order in which the letters come show us which ones come first, which one's on the top and which one's on the bottom. So let's go ahead and fill in what we know, what we don't know. So tan, and then what we don't know is theta, is equal to uh, opposite is 6 and adjacent is 18. So I'm going to go ahead and just reduce that real quick. So this is tan of theta is equal to 1 third. Right, divided them both by 6. Now what we're going to do is we are going to move this tan over to the other side. and. You know how I always say when we move something to the other side, we are going to do the opposite of it. Well, the opposite of it is tan inverse. Yes, I circled tan minus one, that's tan inverse. So the opposite of tan is tan inverse. So we're going to do that on the other side and we're gonna be left with what we're looking for, which is the angle, theta, the angle of interest. So we're left with theta on this side is equal to the tan inverse of one third. And you could also do it of six eighteenths. That would be no problem, but I just reduced it. Uh, I see a fraction and I must reduce. So how we do that, um, let's see. In my calculator, I'm going to go one divided by three equals, and I'm going to hit second function and then the tan inverse button. So it's the same button as tan, but it's got the little minus one. That second function, tan inverse, and it spits out a, a number. And it should go, uh, it should be a number um, between zero and 90 generally for now. So theta, or our angle, is equal to 18.4. We'll go with one decimal place in this case. Um, so essentially, Going with, or doing tan inverse is the opposite of tan. We are using sides to find an angle instead of finding an, uh, using angles to find sides. So again, uh, I did one divided by three, sorry, one divided by three, and then I hit tan inverse. You may be required to go second function, tan inverse, and then one divided by three and put it in um, like that. So if you have any questions about how to use your calculator, uh, please ask. I will probably be prompting you to ask. Let's do a couple more so that we get, we get the general idea of what's going on with the math. All right, so we have a triangle with a right angle, 17 for this side, 23 for this side, and an angle of interest of this bottom one. So from the angle of interest, this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side. We're going to use tan, opposite over adjacent. Let's plug in what we know. Opposite is 17, adjacent is 23. To get theta all by itself, we're going to do the opposite on the other side for this. So tan is going to move over, it's going to be the opposite. So then theta is equal to the tan inverse of 17 divided by 23. So we'll go ahead and do that. 17 
divided by 23 equals second function 10 inverse we get 36.5 so theta is equal to 36.5 okay again the angle should be somewhere between 0 and 90 it shouldn't be a decimal um, like 0.1 or anything like that either do a few more. We're going to keep using tan, and then we're going to transition into the next lesson to uh, sine and cosine. This is a right angle here. I know it doesn't look like it because I'm a poor artist, but forgive me. 36, 39 on this side, and this is our angle of interest. We're going to label our sides. This is opposite, and this is adjacent. And the hypotenuse is across the right angle. We're not going to worry about that right now because we don't know anything about that side. We're going to go ahead and use tan. And I like to continue to write out my equation so we continue to uh, practice. So tan of theta is equal to opposite is 39 and the adjacent is 36. Let's see if this... I don't know if this is going to work. Anyway, let's go. Theta is equal to the tan inverse of this. Let's find out. I'm learning something with you every day. 39 divided by 36 equals tan inverse. Okay, 47.1 47.3. I don't know why I didn't thought that might not work. That's why we're using our calculator for these problems. Wouldn't be able to do it without them. Let's do another one. This is the right angle down here. Our angle of interest is on the right. 49 and 26. All right, we're gonna do the tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Tan of theta, that's our unknown, is equal to 49 divided by 26. That means that theta is equal to the tan inverse of that fraction, right? The opposite. It's tan on this side. We move to the other side. It's tan inverse. So theta is equal to, let's go ahead and punch that into our calculator, 49 divided by 26 equals inverse tan. That's 62 degrees on the dot. Okay, if you have questions, please let me know, but practice, 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 it's the best thing to do. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you soon.